Hey, let's get it right here. Now look, I used to drive for Swift, so I never been in a Swift accident. Now my first month driving that Swift, the tire did pop. The tire popped on me as I was driving, but other than that, I never had the, I never had no issues being on the road, man, as far as my driving abilities. I've always been able to back. I went through my mentorship fast because I was already good at backing. He didn't have to worry about me with backing. So we're going to see what's up, bro. Swift drivers. It's called Swift drivers again. Swift drivers in action. Swift driver fails. Let's get it. Come on. Now, a lot of people, I'm going to say this. A lot of people did. A lot of people do need more training. Like three weeks is enough for me. I'm really able to adapt. I got in and out of there fast. And I really didn't need too much more training. A lot of people can use some more training for sure. Let's see what's going on. Bro, oh, bro, how? What? How'd that even how? happen? There you go, a swift driver. How you do something like that? Smash this truck bad. Damn. You're a dumbass. You're a dumbass. <laughs> You're great. Hey, I'm lying, bro, because, matter of fact, something like this, exactly like this, happened to me. But it didn't say. The street I turned on, it didn't say you couldn't no turn for trucks, so it was inevitable. I had to make a turn, and I did the best I could do, and I was literally in a position just like this. I was in somebody's neighborhood, bro. Oh, it get like that sometimes, though, like, eh. Hey, get like that. And he would have made it out if that rock wasn't right there. All he had to do was get out and move that rock, bro. And he would have made it. Hey, get like that sometimes. Though. I understand, bro. I understand. Like, the GPS probably took him a weird way. And then you do be panicking, bro. When you when you take a wrong road in this truck, you'll definitely get to panicking, man. Think about how you're going to get back on the main road. Back up straight and go out the entrance he came in. At this point, what I would do is either move the rock... Ain't no telling what he trying to do. I can't see the back. Pause. Hit the giant boulder and got stuck for good. Oh, he tried to go over the boulder. Come on, bruh. Come on now. That's bad, making the company look bad. It's drivers like that who made the company look bad, bro, when I was driving for them. Yeah, that's a lot of space. It ain't no excuse for this right here. It's no reason for this. If he hit, bro, it's no reason for this right here. And he's still slow. You know some drivers is not good at backing if they backing super slow. Like, no confidence at all in their backs. I understand taking your time, but super slow? Where is he going? This job is not forever. Oh, I'm not so sure. so fun and games and jokes on social media. But this shit is dangerous. This will be making a highway stop, man. Damn. Every time it's a big highway traffic, it's always something like this, man. Kenworth can't say today. that just like an accident like what was that it wasn't even nothing to look at for real for... no, 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 no. damn let me see bro this is crazy let me see what happened man no, 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 no. wow little coffee yeah why is that boulder even there? You need them more. That's the real more question. More, more, right, more. Don't tell me you're right outside the terminal. No. Where are you going, bro? Come on now, get out and look. You don't remember go? I would have been got out and looked, because they don't even feel right. Go! How did you not see what's going on? I'm so tired of seeing these Swift trailers. They're so ugly, too. 
Так він слідуючий рак взяв у мене. Ви представляєте, що це таке? Я не... Я не розповідаю так багато зараз. Я не знаю, як це колори їх компаній, бро. Я не розумію, бро. Я не розумію. And then people like this, bro, like, stop looking like that if you're not gonna help, man. You sitting there just looking and judging. That's how I look at it. Like, you just sitting there looking, making, say I'm the driver. Now it's like you making me feel more uncomfortable because you overly watching me. If you're not gonna help, stop watching me so much, bro. Turn around and I put it in a ditch, son of a bitch. Unless you want to come drive this thing up out of here. He just left. It get like that sometimes, though. You never know. Oh, look, a Swift truck. Guess what Swift stands for? See what I fucked up today? Let me see what he's turning out of, because he might need to, he might need to do this. Man, That's I can't a smart stand driver right there. Fucker like this right here. He's been in the fuel line, not fueling, not doing a damn thing, and not in his truck. Yeah. I banged on his door, That's and good. his truck number is 192796. He works for obviously Swift. Nah, you doing too much though, bro. You doing too much though. Like everybody hates when everybody does it, but then sometimes you gotta do it yourself. Ain't no telling what's going on. He probably was just being a dickhead and did this, but sitting here recording and whatnot, like and then trying to put it on blast, it's not gonna change nothing. Like humans is not gonna change unless they wanna change, bro. I doubt Swift is gonna do anything about this or be able to prevent this from happening again. This is doing too much right here. Too much. Man, get in, get out, move your damn truck up and get out of people's And he way. said he knocked on his door. Back here. Shit. I'm about to go inside and fucking tell them to goddamn like call his name and tell him to move or something. Motherfucker finally made it to his truck. Ugh. Ugh. Hey man. Let me see this sloppy yeah, fella. Wrong. There's been people out here waiting behind you, man. But I do appreciate him doing this though, because in the moment, I don't care enough to do all of this, but I do wish that somebody would do that. So him doing it, I appreciate it. But you still are doing too much though, because you got other things to be doing. But I commend you for what you're doing though. It needs to be done. Been a while. I just can't say I see motherfuckers do that shit all the goddamn time. Well, he got the point. All right, so this is the time that I got way too close to the trailer that I was trying to park next to, and honestly, could have ended a lot worse than what it did, and I'm glad it didn't. But then again, I mean, the the door does say Swift on it. No, I'm just saying. Oh, and by the way, real quick, if y'all want to see a real tight back, a super tight back. It's on my channel, man. It should be titled Hardest Back Ever or something like that. And it's me with the locks and I'm backing in. And I'm, it's like just brown all on the floor, dirt on the floor. That's probably the hardest back on my channel, bro. I do not lie. I know how to back this trailer up, man. Trust Thank me. Thank you, guys. So, yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't know why I struggled so much in this spot. I had more than enough room to be able to complete Damn, this little homie. So the funny part about this video is I actually recorded it to send to my dad and show him how good I was getting at putting these trailers That's into crazy. small little spots. It's no excuse but uh, honestly, looking at this video, it's probably not a video that I'm going to want to send to try to show off. But I mean, honestly, I could just look back at this video and laugh at it, especially with how much room I had and yeah, how bad I had a lot of room, to put man. this trailer in. I shouldn't even have struggled that bad. At all. You shouldn't have struggled at all. With hey, that. hey, that you super, can't park there. You can't park there. You like that? I ain't gonna lie. Look, hey, I ain't even gonna lie to y'all. Even with when I left Swift, I ended up in this position like once or twice too. That's the story for another day. But it, it just it gets like this sometimes though. And you need these little experiences just to like go through the experiences. It gets like this sometimes though. Come on now, it get like that. Only in your rookie season are you allowed to go through stuff like this though. Unless it was a mechanical fault. What are we even looking at though? I may not be a smart man, but I do know that if you park a trailer 
in front of a trailer that you need to get into, you can't get in the trailer that you parked in front of. This wheel driver took two minutes to try and turn. We need, we need more context, like where are they trying to go? Then he gave up because he realized he couldn't make it. Okay, now this is him giving up and going back to the original. It looked like that turn had a whole bunch of cones over there. Yeah, you'll be surprised on some of these turns out here, man. If you're not a driver. For all the drivers watching, y'all already know, man. Some of these turns is ridiculous. Because of the construction. It'll get like that. I get it. Now, on today's episode, to see what I fuck up today. You gotta pick the camera up, my guy. Maybe all the new guys. I don't think your flat hand's yeah. supposed to be here. Hello, bossman. My my trailer, you know what? Bro, shut up, fool. He ain't even sure what happened, bro. Air leaking. Oh, no. See, look under there. Make sure that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. That kingpin was behind that locking jaw. Hello, Mr. George. How much you pay for the for the new guy? Now, for y'all that don't know or that don't drive and whatnot, this happened. I've seen this before on TikTok and people didn't know how this happened. So this happened because whenever you back this truck, this tractor into this trailer, right here you see it's the fifth wheel. Now right in between this fifth wheel, like in the legs, right in between the legs, this fifth wheel, it's a locking pin that goes in and out like this, right? And it, like it'll connect the legs pretty much. It'll go from this leg to that leg, right? That's wrong, but pretty much it's a locking pin that goes across. And once you back this tractor in under this trailer, it's this pipe sticking out going straight down. It's called the king pin. Now that, once you slide that fifth wheel all the way up against that king pin, that's when that locking jaw will come out across that king pin. So right here, after you back that in, you want to look under and make sure that you see that locking jaw. And you want to do a tug test to make sure that this doesn't happen. So right here, he clearly didn't do a tug test or he did. And that'll psych you out. So you really got to make sure that you look. So he clearly didn't look. Oh, no. And make sure it's across. Oh, no. Hello, Mr. George. How much you pay for the for the new guy? Twenty oh, bucks. Yeah, no, that's, too yeah. much money. And he's well, still doing it. Bro, don't be like, don't set nobody up like that. When y'all when y'all do this to the trailers, we gotta come in. Somebody gotta come and get one of these. Imagine you dropping off an empty trailer, right? Because this is what you gotta do with these mega carriers. When you at a location and you giving up your trailer to get to a different one for whatever reason. You need to go search around to find an empty one. Imagine the one you dropping off is the only empty trailer in the lot, bro. And now we gotta come in here and get this trailer, but you got it super tight. Now we gotta crawl under a different trailer just to lower the landing or raise the landing gear. It's crazy right here. Too much money. Well, that took some talent. I did something like and that, And I thought bro. Swift drivers were bad. All right, I need to get off Swift Johnson. Do you get a job and fuck up? Everything. 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 This motherfucker. Nah, that should fit 14 now, though. That should have fit 14 now. I don't know what's going on with that. Hey, let me know if y'all like these reactions. I'm going to keep them coming, man. We out of here. Let's get it. Let's go, man. Come on.